Hello everybody, Mr. Storm here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XI Online. In the last episode, we did the Night Stalker quest to get our Dragoon Helmet, the final piece of our Dragoon Artifact Armor, which saw us head into Kufdal Tunnel and also head to the Temple of Ugalepi uh, and fight someone who's trying to basically overthrow Sandoria. We talked to the ghost of the last dragoon. And yeah, we got our helmet. So after that, we then went and did Windurst Mission 5-1. Where we needed to head to Fei Yin. I'm trying to think for a minute, because it's actually been a little while. Head to Fei Yin to check the seal there that contains the Shadow Lord. Upon arriving, we had to fight some undead, and we talked to Zed and Lion. And as it turns out, the seal is destroyed, broken, and the replacement seal isn't going to work. So, we report it back, and uh, that's kind of where we stopped. So, we now need to do the next mission. Which we should be ready to go for that. I turned in my crystals that I need. So I should be able to talk to Rako here. And the mission that we are doing is The Shadow Awaits. I just received word from the conference of uh, that the conference of ministers has ended. Together with that announcement came another star-crested summons addressed to you. You had better rush over to the Heaven's Tower again. All right then, we rush over to Heaven's Tower again, and you know the drill. I'll be back. Oh. As I'm uh, climbing the stairs here, I forgot to mention one thing. As I said, it's been a little while since my last recording. I tend to record these in, in batches. Um, is that I have been leveling. So I am now a level 71 Dragoon. And I have gone through all of the Limit Break quests to be able to level all the way to 75. And that's kind of where we're at there. So this was... Well, I'll talk about that later. Let's get the uh, Vestal Chamber. I've been waiting your return, Tuna. It has been decided that Windurst will not take any military action against the Shadow Lord. There are still too many unanswered questions. Any action now would erase what we have worked so hard to build with Yugudo. However, we must put a stop to the Shadow Lord's return. We cannot allow Venadil to be to be thrust back into a war. That is where you come in. I would like you to travel to Castle's Vol and prevent the resurrection of the Shadow Lord. I believe in you, Tuna. Let the stars guide you to victory on your celestial journey. And that was a pretty short cutscene. So, we need to head to Castle Zval. And put a stop to summoning of the Shadow Lord. Now, as I was going to say, is that back when this was, you know, current content, back when the game originally released, I think this was, I think it was actually the last mission in the initial release of the game. Um, before it even was released internationally. Um... And that everything after this is actually technically part of the Rise of the Zillart expansion. So, you know, a little bit of trivia there. 
But this was a level 50 fight. And the battle... Um, battleground was locked at level 50. That is no longer the case. You can now do this any level you want. So I'm level 70, so this should be a relatively straightforward fight. There are some tricky aspects of the mechanics. The boss that we're going to have to fight has a couple of different phases. Uh, at some point it transitions between being immune to physical damage and being immune to magical damage, so we're going to have to have sources of both physical and magical damage, and I should be good for that. So, yeah. Let's get out there. We need to travel to their home points. Now, I don't know if I'm a high enough level to not catch any aggro on the way there. So, we'll see. Teleportation assistance. I think I got the book. Now, if it's not Norvalin, it's Valdonia. Zarkabard? No. Well, I guess not. Maybe there wasn't a book there. Good thing I was just there for the artifact stuff. I should remember, but... I believe the alternative method is a... Uh, Unity War. Twenty-five. Uh, Zarkbard. I don't think there's anything in the Zarkbard that's going to mess with me. Oh, this is not where I wanted to be. I could have just taken the book. That would have been closer. Uh, well. Well, I'll get myself there, and I'll be back. Alright. Here we are. Castle's Wall. We have a bit of a walk ahead of us. Now. I believe I was silly, and I did not touch that book. Now I have touched that book. Now I think there's also a home point that you can get to deeper in, which also helps. So that's fine. All right. So uh, one thing that we are going to do, just in case. We are going to summon our trust, and the one trust that we're going to be bringing with us is this one. Oh, I'll probably have to resummon trusts. Um, once I'm actually in the battle area. I will bring them out for now. 
There's one disadvantage of playing Dragoon. Is that your Avern is constantly <laughs> interfering with the camera. As you have certainly have noticed by this point. The only thing I could do is release the Wyvern, which I'm not going to do. Okay, so we're taking this northern path. I'm going to see if I can do... if I can remember the path. Because we had to do this a ton years ago. Okay, so onto this map, and we want to go this way. Hit the goblins, level 49 at two week. So I should just be able to walk past these guys. And then along these areas here are the various beastmen tribes. So now we're heading in the the Quadav zone. Now I think it's this way. I could be completely wrong. Uh, actually, yes, yes, yes. I think it's this way, actually. I need to get crossed over. I think that can be done here. Yes, we can cross over here. On the other side. And then through here. Morbid eye. Just do a quick check. Hold on. Easy prey at level 53. Let's see. If it does aggro me, I will make short work of it. It did not. Oh. Right, I missed a turn. Uh, demon, wizards, and knights. Right, and then this will zone us into Castle's Vol Keep. This is the point where if anyone in your party, when you were doing this before, got uh, attacked, is just keep running. Don't stop. Need to bring the trust back out.
All right, demon pawns, evil eyes. Yeah, they're right on the edge. Okay, so we need to head north here. And this is similar. These are all beastman areas. This is the goblin side. Anybody in here decides they want to play? Shouldn't be too much trouble. The thing is that in order to get past these guys, if they do attack you, or you're a low enough level, you need to be invisible, but then you need to not be invisible to interact with these doors, which is going to be tricky. All right, evil eyes. Nope. Dov section. Now, all you'd need in here is sneak, so this is a little bit easier to deal with. Check the map, which direction would go, straight through here. And through there. So far, it's been pretty smooth. Alright, so in the next room, we're going to have a series of teleporters that we're going to have to go through. I don't know how the trusts are going to react. I think these maybe just activate every so often. So there's nothing to activate directly. Yep, there we go. And then we just keep going through teleporters until we get to a new area. Oh, this one's not on yet. So we will wait. There we go. And looks like that one's not on yet either. 
Oh. Go again. You wait. Good to go. This one's on. Hopefully it will stay on before. Oh. <sighs> All right. We'll be waiting again. There we are. Okay, so now we're in a new area. We need to get to that home point. Thing is, I don't think that my Laverne or my trusts or anything are here yet. Hopefully nothing decides it wants to, uh, Attack me. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's the trust in the dragon. Watch our home point. Then go through the door. This there's nothing else here. I just run across here. anything else for us to uh, do or prepare for so let's do it cutscene Could this be? Oh, it's Zed. Yes, it is the tomb of the Shadow Lord. And we're getting some crystal activation. Well, it looks like we're a tad too late.
Ah, the Dark Knight. It's been 20 years since we last met Zed. No, how is this possible? I defeated you. I cannot die, not until I have eradicated you and your kind from this world. So it is true. I suspected as much since, uh, since we last met. You are a Galka. Thirty years ago, I was in a group that came to this cursed land, seeking to uncover the secrets of a lost civilization. And it is here that I fell, betrayed by one I trusted with my life. My friend Ulrich could not abide the fact that I was the best swordsman of the Mithra Musketeers. That I was advocating peace with the Beastmen at the time was not to his liking either. Cornelia died protecting me. The Uralgrim. But I came back. Not even death could keep me from exacting revenge on those who wronged me. Does the Galka go through a process of reincarnation? If I remember correctly. A power hidden beneath the earth gave me a new form and granted me control over the nether beasts. It was then that I became aware, that I was made aware, of the dark anger smoldering deep within my soul. I realized it was not revenge that drove me, but the old, undying anger of our race, the wrath of the Galka. Others can't fathom the depth of our rage, but I cast myself willingly into its flames and broke the chains of mortality. Your kind awoke the fur fury within me, and I was reborn into rage incarnate as the Shadow Lord. I swear to myself to purge this world of your kind, and I will not rest until I crush every last one of you. I underestimated you 20 years ago, but I will not make that mistake again. Oh, he's sealing Zed. What? No! Stand there and watch, Zed. Search within for the dark rage, the flame that burns in the souls of all Galka. And he teleported. Now, I will cleanse this world of your filth, unless I am first consumed by fury. Come, it is the hour of reckoning. Death itself failed to stay my wrath. Let us see if you can do any better. Alright, so, yeah, we have to fight the Shadow Lord. It's kind of strange that we get a cutscene and then have to, you know, go again. It's just kind of the way the things work. The Shadow Lord battle. Let's see how this goes. I think this might actually be soloable at my level, but we'll bring the trusts just in case. Uh, actually, also, meditate, let's go. First weapon skill. I also brought myself an Icarus wing. That gives me a free thousand TP. Hit another weapon skill. Probably unnecessary. But I like to burn him into a second phase if, as quickly as possible.
Alright, he's down to about a quarter health. Jump. Those ice spikes are not helping. Oh, I think he's in a physical immune state. All right. Caster, I need you to do some damage. There we go. There we go. All right, that got him out of his uh, physical immune state. I was like, man, his health is just not moving, and I'm not getting any TP. I was like, well, because you're doing zero damage. Alright, second phase. Or he's just pumping out lots of AoE damage, but we are tearing through him. Uh, he's stuck at like 1% health. There we go. Could have done that level 50, but I would need a full party of actual players to do that level 50. And we should get a cutscene. Okay, that was a little strange, but... No, it's not over yet. I told you, even death cannot stop my revenge. I will not fall. I will keep coming back until the fires of wrath consume me. Raul Grimm, stop. Listen to me. It's over. Raul Grimm? No, that is not my name. I, I, am, I am the Shadow Lord. You are no such thing. Search your memories for... For your true self, you are Ralgrim, the Galka's greatest swordsman. I... Cornelia's ghost? Or just a vision of her? I am Ral Ralgrim. Trying to break through? to have brought him back to himself. Do you remember? Yes, I do now.
Rogrim, it's good to have you back. How has all this come to be? As you know, I was the tail keeper of the Galka, the keeper of our race's memories. But there was so much pain, so much anger. I let myself become trapped in a dark abyss of swirling rage and madness. Rogrim. People are capable of kindness beyond angels, yet we also commit sins that would put a demon to shame. We all stand precariously on the edge between darkness and light, and when we fall, we are greeted by only madness and chaos. And so I have fallen. There is no salvation for me. The Ralgrim whom you once knew is gone forever. I expect no forgiveness for what I have done, but... Uh, and it's Lion, out of nowhere. Uh, come on, this way, hurry. My true self died 30 years ago. All that remains is an empty shell. Cornelia, finally, we may meet again. And so the Shadow Lord was defeated, thanks to Tuna's selfless courage and sacrifice. Though the clouds through the clouds shine a symbol of newfound hope for the peoples of Anadil, but none should forget that whatever there well, wherever there is light, there is also shadow. The legend goes on to say, from the darkest depths of the earth, the warriors of the crystal rose. Some strange artifacts going on in the background. Uh, so I guess this is a goodbye for now. I hear they've started flights to the Outlands. If you ever get your hands on an airship pass for Kassam, come see me in Nork sometime. I'll be seeing you, Tuna. Bye. I too feel that our paths may cross again. Until then, I wish you farewell. So. Now, all of that is quite confusing because, well, and it was for people at the time. It's like, what in the world just happened there? So we defeated the Shadow Lord. We figured out that it was Ralgrim. We got him to kind of come back to himself, and then things got a little weird and disjointed. We'll find out why, because that is the beginning of the Rise of the Zillart expansion. We'll be getting there. In fact, should we go ahead and do that now? Uh, just give me a sec. Okay, so I made a decision. We are going to go ahead and view that cutscene that happens in Norg, because uh, that kind of clarifies things. Um,. And that does start the Rise of the Zillart missions. Um, but we're not going to work on those just yet. We're going to keep going with the... Um, we're going to keep going with the Windurst Nation missions. But just for clarification purposes. And because it, it makes sense to follow up um, here. We're going to go do that. But first, we need to head back to Heaven's Tower and um, let the Star Sibyl know what happened. So, I'll see you back in Heaven's Tower. Oh, we got the cutscene basically as soon as I came in here. Heaven's Tower. Heaven's Tower. 
One great star has fallen. What can that be? That is not the star that I... Oh, okay. Strange. Oh. Let's, um... Head up there. Alright, just about there. Let's deliver the news. I'm pleased to witness your safe return, Tuna. I cannot express in words the gratitude that I and the country of Windurst feel for you. Uh, for now, your duty is done until the stars call on you once again. All right. Your basic rank six, twenty thousand gil, excellent. Now we had the Norg, and we've been there before for the Samurai unlock quest. So it should just be a matter of uh, finding a home point and heading there. So I'll be back once we're at a home point. All right, here's a home point, and the cutscene should pretty much start immediately, though this is a new expansion initiating cutscene, so it might prompt me if I want to watch it or not. We'll see what happens. El Shimolo, Norg, 1.1. Basically, this cutscene initiated as soon as you zoned into Norg. Alright, start Rise of the Zillart. Yeah, we'll view the cutscene. Kotsu? All right there, buddy. This ain't no cafe. What business do you have here? And it's Lion. You finally made it, to, uh, Tuna. Lion. Uh, you don't have to worry about Tuna. She's okay. Anyway, I thought you guys welcomed adventurers. Understood. Oh, for starters, I should welcome you to Norg. However, as much as I'd like to sit down and talk about old times over a bottle of 813 Rollenberry, uh, we must first face our new problem with Camlino, the Archduke of, you know? You mean you don't remember what happened at Castle's Ball? No, it was a bit of a disjointed mess. You know, are you all right? You're not? Because apparently we lost memory of what actually happened. It all began with a stone, or so the legend says. In ages past, a sentient jewel, enormous and beautiful, banished the darkness. Its many-colored light filled the world with life and brought forth mighty gods. Bathed in that light, the world entered into an age of bliss, until, after a time, the gods fell into slumber. That world was called Vanadil. Yeah, that's the legend of the creation of Vanadil. The legend goes on to say, From the darkest depths of the earth, the warriors of Christ the crystal rose. Right, this is what we remember. Yeah, Zed saying, do you remember? Uh, yes, I do now. Hmm. Aralgrim, it's good to have you back. Now, how has all this come to be? 
As you know, I was the tailkeeper of the Gal uh, the keeper of our race's memories, but there was so much pain, so much anger. Yes. We, we saw this, let myself become trapped in a dark abyss, a swirling rage and madness. Yeah. So this is all the dialogue that we've seen before. And there is where it broke. And it's Camlano. An Eldnarsh. Quite an interesting show you put on. I don't know, it could have been it could have used a little more excitement. The Galka can never do anything, right? The Archduke of Juna and what are you two doing here? We come to reap the seeds that we have sown. You performed your duty well, as ignorant as you are. I can see that we still have a little more cleaning up to do, but that won't be a problem. What are you going on about? Give us some answers. Listen carefully, you sorry excuses for sentient beings. The crystal line will soon be revived and the gate of the gods will open. That is when the true Venadil of legend will be reborn. Eternal paradise, the land of the gods, the dream we Zillart have held on to for 10,000 years is about to become a reality. Zillart, you, you can't be. That civilization perished thousands of years ago. The Great Bane will devour, devour the fair land of Vanadil. The ancient seal will be broken, awakening nightmares of ages past. The blood of innocence will soak the earth, and the world will fall into fear and despair. That's more of the legend. Ah, Galka, Humes, Beastmen, no life on this planet has any purpose or meaning. Like I told you before, we will not be handing over Vanadil to anyone. This is our world. Yes, I am no longer sensing the impurities that are blocking the power that lies within Vanadil. The noise has gone. Simply defeating him 20 years ago did not silence the noise. We ran into a snag. We were unable to release him from the crystal with our power alone. However, with the tail keeper, we had what we needed, but there is no need to go into the details of that here. Wait, I can hear them. I can hear the five life forces. I can hear them approaching. Minions of the crystal. Alright, more of the legend. But as one bright star shines through the clouds at night, and as one song rings clear above the roar of the beasts, behold to one hope in these darkest of times. This world is nothing but a grave, and you are the maggots that squirm through the rotting corpse. It is time we put an end to Venadil as it is now. Hear us, we sing the song of hope and your requiem. That's... They will come with the wisdom of ages and the strength of thousands to deliver us from our plight. We await the awakening of the warriors of the crystal. Come forth, warriors of the crystal, and cleanse this world of the filth that plagues it. Five crystals. A 
five warriors of five the five different races. Warriors of the crystal. Farewell, lowly vermin. Your time is up. This is the beginning of the end. And they poured it out. Finish them, warriors of the crystal. Right. Zed, are you alright? Things are moving on their own. Uh, don't underestimate them. Their power is immeasurable. Uh, we got Zap. No, it's Yuna. Stop. It's Lion. You had to be crazy to stay any longer. We've got to get out of here. Lion? No, you don't. Uh, Ralgrim? Yeah, he got stabbed. I can still draw energy from this land. If I can concentrate it for one last time, I'm able to slow them down. Ralgrim. There's no salvation for me. The Ralgrim who you once knew is gone forever. I expect no forgiveness for what I have done, but... Don't let them have Venadiel. Now go. Come on, this way, hurry. Uh, farewell, brave warrior. One does not need to be a prophet to foresee the outcome of this battle. However, I do not fear death. Transforming back into the Shadow Lord. My true self died 30 years ago. All that remains is an empty shell. Right, we saw this one. With Cornelia. And that's when he burst it. Tuna, are you alright? You mean you had forgotten what happened to the castle's wall? Hmm, you must have lost your memory from the overwhelming shock of the whole experience. Or from getting blasted. That's possible as well. Well, it looks to you, everything else seems to be working. But see that staircase over there? When you're feeling a little better, walk up those stairs and come to the room at the end of the hallway. Uh, 
that room. If someone I'd like you to meet, I'll go there first and tell them you're coming. See you again. All right, so that starts Rise of the Zillar, but we won't be getting to that. In order to continue, we need to go uh, that particular room. So at least, you know, I have some control over when that happens. So... We'll go ahead and stop here for now. So, Shadow Lord's been defeated. And, uh... We now have a new problem with the uh, Archduke of Juno. But we'll get to that. But for now, we'll go ahead and stop here. And uh, I think next episode, we'll just continue on with the Windurst Donation missions. And uh, s you know, see how those go. But for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.